So what we do is we provide armed and unarmed security for grow farms, dispensaries, processing facilities. And then uh, we also do OBN and health department compliance for all those same facilities. And then uh, we also do transport and cash of cash and product for those facilities as well. Well, I mean, uh, securing the product is a big thing because uh, if you lose product, uh, there's a potential to be charged with a criminal act. So it's actually in one of the statutes that you can be charged if the product is stolen and it wasn't properly secured. And then uh, as far as being in compliance, I mean, that's something that is big right now. OBN and them are out. They have a task force. From what I've been told, I've never met any of the task force, but uh, they have a task force that is out and they are fining people. And fines are anywhere up to five to ten thousand dollars. From what I've just read in their statute, they actually have some of the stuff in the statute that says five because that five thousand dollar fine first time, second time you can lose your license. We haven't really transported anything for anybody yet because the first grow is just coming out. Things are just happening. A lot of these companies can't afford the transport; they're actually doing their own transport right now. So that's a big thing for them. But I mean, that's something that's coming, and I mean that's something that they all ask me about. You know, pricing things like that because it's it's all coming for them to where they're going to have to transport. It's just not there yet. We are squared away on all that, and we're actually looking at the new transport licenses coming out as well. They actually have a separate transport license for the transport companies coming out. We are already looking into that and what it's going to cost and what we got to do to get it. Oh, yeah, they have to have com separate compartments that lock, things like that. We're actually putting in compartments right now to separate everything out to where they you can slot in because uh, the, 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 the box itself is already locked. It should have locks on it. If not, my guys put locks on it. So that way the box can't be open and then it gets put into a compartment that also locks. So that way it's taken care of. You know, my guys are looking at it's fully secure in the, in the vehicle plus in the box itself.